Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Volcano Block. For today, we're just gonna continue on in progressing in chapter 2. I have not done much in between episodes. I removed my Koblonia seeds because if I'm growing up wheat, the Koblonia seeds go crazy with the cobblestone and I have almost a chest, chest fulls of cobblestone, which I am smelting uh, in the, my super amazing double furnace array, which doesn't really need this chest in the bag because I'm using charcoal blocks because that is... Uh, more efficient than just using the tiny charcoal or just charcoal directly. Uh, and I smelted a bit more glass, a bit more heavy ingots, a bit more crystal blocks. So I'd, the only thing really that I did, and I made more pink composite bricks as well. Because I know we're going to need those in chapter 2. So we can uh, begin this by clicking this and we get ourselves a food book. And this, oh it says how many food we tasted and how many hearts we've gained. And we can gain, okay, uh, 13 foods tasted. Minimum food value, baked potato. Okay, you can actually see everything that you've eaten. Okay, that's pretty cool. And not yet eaten. And you can just go check if you can make anything. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, so we can go into a rotary grinder. We can also go into the seed of life, which I believe is going to require us to get some shards, which are crushed, crushed crystals, basically. Uh, and I believe this, these are also from the crushed crystals. So let's get some of those. Uh, let's actually do one more block here just so we do a stack and then I'll grab my crushing block and these are gonna explode everywhere I don't know if they're gonna go into the lob up. Hopefully not There we go all all of the shards and seed of life seed of life uh, That requires two grass blocks two crystals or just one crystal here Bam and I made a thingy here and I believe I right click this here yeah there we go and we get some grass growing apparently it replaces cobblestone as well but we get a tree uh, and I'll just break these by hand I don't think there we go uh, did I get saplings I did we got acorns as well so now I think this is this grows trees really fast if I put them on here and then we sneak yeah, let's make a crook as well. Uh, so I need some cobble bits and we can turn that into a crook like so. And that is going to help us get more saplings as well if we want a bigger tree farm. But it's pretty neat. Awesome. We have access to wood, which is really cool. I don't know if this uh, just grows trees faster or if I hoe it will it grow everything else faster as well also I'm gonna fix up the cobblestone here but at least we have lots of trees cool let it let us accept this quest and get some more grass blocks and then it wants us to make a log mallet so right click a vanilla crafting table with a mallet to turn it into a tetra crafting table replace the mallet pieces with stone to make it strong enough to break geodes okay so a mallet is just two logs okay let's grab this as well and plant up another sapling. Barking up the wrong tree. What does this? Strip a log of its bark. Ah, okay. Apparently that's a random chance that you get it. Uh, and now we don't have to worry about sticks anymore because we can just craft sticks, probably. No? Oh, we can't craft planks. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Log mallet. Uh, nice. Basic tinkering. And that turns it into iron ingots, but we need, I believe, uh, possibly the grinder before, but we'll get to that in a moment. So we need rose red with artesia seeds and dandelion yellow, and I believe I used all of my rose red. We have four dandelions, or five at least. Uh, let's just turn all of that into dye uh, and get rid of all of this cobblestone, and we can put the shards away in here just to have a little bit more space. Meat stuffed roll, not yet eaten. Dried oak acorn and bark can go in here as well. Pumpkin seeds, whoops, not what I wanted. Can I break this with my lovely axe? I can, okay. Uh, so I need to grab some bone meal if I have any. I have a bit, three. Uh, we can get more by doing this, by hurting ourselves and then we get uh, three bone meal per thing. But I need basically uh, red dye and I need four of it to be exact. Actually, I'm going to check if I can do the rotary grinder uh, and see if we can get it that way or if we can get more a bit that way. So let me just, I don't know why I'm breaking these by hand if I have vein miner, um, but whoops. Okay, 
Good. I think we got four. Yeah, we did. Okay, so the is the grinder accessible now? So that's crystal grinding wheels, which are just crystals, and then pink carmonite. Yeah, that's very much doable. Uh, so let's grab some crystal blocks like that. And we're going to need three of the wheels. Oh, they don't stack. And then five total carmonite. There we go. Uh, and we can do use on this to make ourselves the rotary grinder. Uh, and then I need to place this above lava. So let's go get this guy. I'm using this for uh, for processing of uh, things that I need to throw on fire, but we can put this here. And I believe I put the rotary grinder on top and that should get heat. Nice, and uh, can I put these in here? Uses, rotary grinder. Yeah, we're gonna double it, lovely. Okay, uh, in the meantime, we can harvest our wheat a little bit for more grass. Uh, and where's my crook? Ah, not the wrong, the wrong button. Grave is so close to my escape bar. Okay, nice. So are, have you processed two? Yes. Nice, so let's make the seed that we need. So I need artesia seeds and those. So that should, if I just do a use here. <clears throat> oh, it's not here, it's here. So four of you, four of you, and one of you probably. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so Merlinia seeds, if you're having trouble growing this, make sure it has enough light. Uh, do I have any space anywhere to grow this? I have here. So I believe this goes backwards in time of how it grows, and I don't have any more bone meal. Uh, so let's do a little bit of eating and then do this. Can I put this, can I put my flesh in the rotary grindstone and get six? I can. Let's just do that for a bit. Whoops. Can I re hoe you without? Nope. Rid the Eula. I did. That was super quick. Okay. Um, toss that in there. And with the bone meal, what was I looking for? Uh, growing up these. They grow backwards. Uh, and then when it grows, we get time dust. Nice. Okay. We get some XP. And we need the glasses of nostalgia, which are time dust with stone and glass panes. That's doable. Uh, and those are going to need some structures to be built around the cobblestone to turn it into ancient cobblestone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, my cobble bits and we can probably, I was thinking of doing it up there, but we'll just put up uh, a couple of these or maybe one of these uh, setups, uh, maybe in the four corners kind of, but I'll do some work and do some building and I'll be back. I've just expanded out a couple blocks past what we had before basically all around the place. So now if we look at our mini map and we can see it's kind of uniform, it's not really chunk based, but you know, it's all good. We could probably fill up a three by three grid of chunks with cobblestone. I think I might, I could do that in between episodes probably. Uh, and then have the three chunks loaded and then we do like a tower base on the three by three chunk or something in that sense. That could be cool, I think. Uh, but our glasses of nostalgia, uh, we can craft those. Uh, and then we need also four levers, uh, like that. Uh, and I believe we need to grab some cobblestone. And these work in a seven by seven uh, around the hourglass. So basically, if we put it here, it would be one, two, three on each side. So I need to, and that would be one, two, three, this, this much. So if we go probably in the corner here, we should be fine. And we need to raise it up from the sky a little bit so it doesn't convert the bottom cobblestone that we are standing on into the cobblestone that we don't want basically. Uh, so let me do, uh, first of all, an accepting of the quest. So we get two extra and then this, when provided a redstone signal, the hourglass was slowly converted surrounding cobblestone into ancient cobblestone. Okay, and then we need 10 of that. Uh, so that can be uh, then crushed into geodes. We can also grab this, which is going to give us sugar cubes. And we can get amplifying to your book of the well for more information. This is, does it have to be stained glass? No, it can be any glass and heavy ingots. And we need two of those. We can grab, we can get that. We have heavy ingots somewhere. 
There we go. And we have some glass. I also changed my resource pack in between cuts here uh, because I was not liking the glass. So I think we needed two. Yeah, there we go. Amplifying tube. Uh, let's look at my book of the well, uh, wherever that might be, this one and see what that has to say about it. Other mechanics, key mechanics, introduction, multi-blocks. Okay, that's not here. Amplifying, okay. The amplifying tube when stacked too tall up to eight tall will transform a block below it. So any type of stone, cobblestone or sandstone can be turned into lava. Okay, cool. Any type of leaves, ice or cactus can be turned into water and any block of mysterious dust can be transformed into fluid souls. Don't be alarmed. Okay, liquid souls. Okay, and mysterious dust blocked is just for mysterious dust. Okay, that's cool. So we can use that uh, in, in, in at some point, I guess. Uh, then we need the heat sawmill, which requires cutters, which are flint or red flint. What is red flint? That's flint with red dye. Uh, one of the new ores, yeah, yeah, okay. So we need regular gravel, uh, I think, which can be made, I believe, in the rotary grinder with cobblestone. Yeah, that's fine. So let's grab just a stack of cobble. We already had a bunch, but let's toss this in here. And that's just going to process over time while we while I go build this monstrosity of cobblestone for the hourglass of nostalgia. You know how I said I have a lot of cobblestone? I don't anymore. Uh, I built up five of those uh, Hourglasses. I think I have one right here. Uh, but basically, you just equip them with a redstone signal, and they convert slowly ancient or regular cobblestone into ancient cobblestone. So, what if we just grab? Uh, let's see if there's another one like down here that we can see. Nice. Okay, let's just vein mine this. Nice, and we can complete the quest. Wonderful, and we get a cobblestone burst seed. Okay, uh, and geo, geo dudes. They made a Pokemon reference. Okay, so this I assume is planted. And do you grow? Can I? Can you be bone wield? I don't know what this does. We gotta probably read it in the book. Oh, oh, it explodes with cobblestone everywhere. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Okay. So we can put this in like a contained area to farm cobblestone. How is that made? Burst seed. Cobblestone burst seed. That's a seed, a shard of soil of fire and four cobblestone. Hmm. And the shards are crystals, right? So I think I got most of it. Uh, so if we look at our shards, we got the shards of soil of fire. Are they used for anything else? They're used to making a seed of the nether, uh, to make to onyx, dust pickers, Crystal catalysts and cobblestone burst seeds. Okay, so if we want more cobblestone, we can just use the uh, those guys over there. I think. Uh, what is this used for though? It's used to burn into geodes. Okay, so let's uh, burn this into geodes. There we go. Nice. And breaking open at a workbench may yield very valuable materials. Uh, so I think uh, there's a description here. See next quest for more information. Okay, we get eight charcoal. So right click a vanilla crafting table with a mallet to turn it into a tetra crafting table. Replace the mallet pieces with stone to make it strong enough to break geodes. Okay, so we need a regular crafting table, uh, which we can get by harvesting one of you. And you're gonna grow back. And we're gonna put this, um, let's say here. And we can replace that cobblestone back. And I believe you right click it with this. There we go. Tetra crafting table. And we can toss this in here. And I think it's uh, repair. No, we need the wooden mallet. And we need the mallet head. And can we put in cobblestone or is it stone? Uh, let's grab both. Some cobble and some stone. Cobblestone? No. Stone? Haha, -ha, craft. Did it? Okay, it gave me the stone back and then craft. And now we have a stone hammer. Can we do a stone handle? Cobblestone handle? Place the handle. It doesn't say, is it a wrap handle? No, okay. I, I don't know how to change other materials, but that's le a level two hammer. And I think we toss in the geodes here and then we do break open. 
So with that, we get valuable materials. They drop on the floor as well, but we get iron nuggets, diamonds, emeralds, aluminum, copper, silver, redstone, uh, and that's pretty cool. Also, we can uh, nom on these sugar cubes uh, for the future. It's gonna, they're gonna give us some speed and haste. It's really cool. Okay, so what I have to do basically is go around here, at least just wait a, b a bunch of time for all of this to convert into ancient cobblestone and I can go pick it out. For example, where I find it, I can just break it up uh, and see if I can vein mine a few. If it's not just the one in the middle, but yeah, here's a couple and I can keep on doing that for the geodes. And what I think I wanna do, can I repair this? Repair cobblestone, nice. Oh, do you have to actually do it every time? Okay, but, but that does repair it. So we can exchange the heads. Uh, for example, if we want, uh, we can do, let's grab nine of you and one of you, I think, or it might be two iron, two diamonds and more iron than that. But we have a first ironing it and that's a quest as well. And we get some more charcoal, but I think I can do stone pick and we can do pickaxe head and toss in diamonds and we can make it into a diamond pickaxe. Cool. Uh, I don't know what the handles are. If there's, is it gonna show me what recipes go anywhere? No. Uh, and what is it for the pickaxe head for iron? Is it gonna be two iron? Yeah. Okay, so I need to make more geodes if we wanna do anything else with it. Okay, so what are the next quests? It's the chest builder. Oh, we can get, oh, uh, we can get bigger chests. Amazing, okay. And then the next one is Explosion Furnace in this layer. And then here is a Rock Quirk. Breast clay can be acquired by using a shard of the Root of Life on a Rock Core. Okay, Rock Core is heavy ingots, gravel, and stone. And we needed flint for something, didn't we? For the possibly the heat sawmill? Yeah, the cutters, we need flint. Uh, we have a stack of gravel here. Uh, is there a recipe for flint? Uh, uses, or can I just toss you back into the grinder? That's gonna make sand. Uh, the squeezer is gonna make, what is this? How does one make you limestone? I don't have limestone. Okay, I need to break some gravel to get some flint. I broke around half stack of the gravel into flint and we can make some cutters now and those don't stack as well. So let's make three and then grab our carmenite and we can grab the next thing, which is, was like, which was like this. And that makes us the heat sawmill. And if we put this probably on here, is it gonna get enough heat? It is. Okay, so we can do wood. Uh, we have some more here, tossed in the sawmill, and we can now get uh, planks, which is really cool. Uh, so those will slowly progress. And now we can get actual sticks because the recipes or the recipes for wood are just, uh, or uses for wood are just in the sawmill. Uh, and we can smelt it back into charcoal as well. But we get sawdust. I also put some, some of it in the grinder, which made directly sawdust, but we need, we have planks now. We can make probably vanilla chests. Yeah, we can, Ooh, we can, we cannot make sticks though. We need to toss planks again into the sawmill uh, to, get, uh, to get sticks basically. So I'm gonna do that in between here because I needed some more wands as well. Uh, so what is next in the quests? We can collect this, which gives us muscle bread. Okay. Uh, and then we can spawn in a straw golem, which is a hay bale and a pumpkin. That we can do. Let's grab nine of you. And my inventory is an entire mess. I made one pumpkin in between episodes. Straw golem. And we get another spawn straw golem. Straw golems are friendly little dudes who will help you harvest your crops. Unfortunately, these little buggers can get into a lot of trouble. Try fencing them in to keep them on task. So straw golem can be created in a world by stacking a pumpkin on top of a hay block. Okay, you can create them in world by that. Okay, or you can make the spawn egg. So if we would, uh, let's say, grab some cobblestone wall. I have some cobblestone on me. Let's make that many. And if we go, let's say here, and break all of these torches and do something in the sense like this. I don't have an, a way in now, but uh, we can probably sort that out at some point, but I'm gonna toss torches here just so that the things still have light. And if we put you right in there somewhere, 
Will you harvest the wheat? Oh, you do. Oh, magical. Dude. Okay, and we need one here, definitely. Okay, so we need fences all around. The second golem is working hard on the normie crops, and we can continue on uh, in the questing, and we can make a wooden crate, which is gonna help us with storage, and we're gonna get another one from the quest. So I'm just gonna toss these guys here, and we need to store seeds, most definitely. So these, whoops, I keep alt-tabbing for some reason, and normie seeds as well in here. So that frees us a, a bunch of slots in the chest and we can start putting in wood in here and the grass and all that stuff and possibly the sticks uh, because I want to have all kind of like plant-based things in here. So that is pretty cool. Uh, and with the wood we can even make more wooden crates if we wanted to but we need to get into the, a rock core because that's gonna lead us to a soul blocks. So the rock core is stone, gravel and the heavy ingot. So that is doable. So heavy ingots and, gra oh, it's a heavy ingot in the middle and gravel like that. So that makes us a rock core. And then we need compressed clay. So compressed clay is core recipe. We put a rock core and a shard of root of life. So how does this work? It can be acquired by using a shard of the root of life on a rock core. Okay, so shard of the root of life. I assume I place this down. Does it consume the rock core? I would assume it consumes the rock core, but it takes some time. Ah, there we go. Compressed clay. And that can be turned back into clay. Nice. And Azul blocks, the only way to acquire clay at this point is via compressed clay. And once you have raw Azul blocks, you can convert them to Azul blocks by placing them underneath a stack of amplifying tubes. Between two and eight of them, more is faster. If it's working, you should see particle effects inside of ampli the amplifying tubes. So uh, yeah, it's a tube recipe to do raw soul block, which is clay, crystal block, and mysterious dust block. Okay, mysterious dust, crystal block. So let's grab some of you. So these plus these plus these get us a bunch of soul blocks. And then we need to grab our amplifying tubes. And we're gonna put these right here because I can stack them nicely. Okay, I have to place them like this apparently. And that, should work hopefully it said it, if it's working you should see particle effects inside the amplifying tubes uh, maybe it needs access to the sky because that was right up underneath the thing so let's do like this yeah now it works okay so it needs access to the sky and that should convert us into a soul box nice Okay, so that is a bit, it gets us a bit of fudge and this gets us some more XP. So uh, a soul blocks can then be turned into a soul ingots and I needed a soul ingots to make these gravity blocks because I need an soul machine case which is stone and a soul machine casings. So let me just grab another one of these. So we have a little bit and let's check out that gravity block. So that was a bit of stone and that case gravity block. I'm just gonna do this. It was the other way around. Okay, a soul machine case and then a heavy block and that makes us a gravity block. So how much of a range do you have? Does it say anywhere? Because there's the mini gravity blocks uh, as well. So that gets us a tray. So also serves as a whitelist filter for two gravity and scepter blocks. We'll change back to a black filter when right click with an empty hand. So you can use the Hartwell Nourisher to accelerate crop growth. Okay, so this tray, um, how do we wanna set this up? So if I put you, let's just test. If I put this here and this, no. Apparently it's an ax thing. Where's my ax? It's probably in here. Okay. okay, whitelist, blacklist. So we can whitelist all of the normie crops. Let's say we whitelist this, 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 this. Okay, and I'm jumping on all my crops, apparently. So do I do that just like this? Yeah, whitelist that, that. And do you have like an inventory or do you just, do you just, 
let's see. The golem's gonna start harvesting as soon as the, the crops grow. And let's see if what happens to the blocks that are broken. Come on. You're fully grown, golem. Get to work. Okay, so they get attracted to it. Okay, so I can set up a hopper somewhere. And it does reach all of those, so we need to, to totally redesign this and set up golems and put like a gravity block somewhere in the middle so it just attracts everything and that gets collected and stored. Okay, that's neat. It's pretty cool. Okay, good to good to good to good to good to know. So let me see if we can do anything else, but I think we're pretty much nearing to the end of the episode. The chest builder requires a bit more iron. I think we have a little bit more, yeah. Because I broke some more geodes, so let's get get a few of those going. We can toss all of these back. Uh, and let's make half cobblestone, half sticks, two levers. And let's do the chest builder. Uh, and we just need a chest. Okay, and let's see what this requires. Iron ingots, iron bars, and clay for the chest. And it requires string for the backpack. Okay, so if we do... A white that it requires 18 clay 64 iron bars 64 iron and 18 chests yeah the iron is gonna be the problem here because we need more ancient cobblestone uh, which is slowly being made in here but I think I'm gonna end the episode off here I'm gonna in between episode be breaking a bunch of this ancient cobblestone that's gonna be making uh, and we're gonna turn that turn that into geodes I'm gonna probably upgrade the hammer as well if I can uh, and I'm gonna mess around with this geodes I'm probably gonna redesign this entire middle section of the island uh, and we should see where we are going to be next episode. So I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to see new videos. You can support me on Patreon if you want to play with me on this server or the vanilla server. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.